All right, I have a confession to make. Amp experts lie to their viewers. All right, whether they're trying to or not, keep watching, I'm gonna explain. Okay, so here we have Oscar Ramos. If you look at the title for the past freaking years, been the exact same. I like Oscar, I like Dark Side of Podocast. Everybody talks about how Amp is about to blow up. And he says, it's still, still not time. It's coming, but not yet. All right, I wanna come over here and show you something. We are over here on the daily chart watch graph that everybody loves to obsess over because they're not holders. All right, as you can see, it's falling down again like London Bridges. Yesterday, it looked like it might have went to six uh, cents, but people will always sell off. There's no way of knowing exactly when it's going to take off because it's a utility token based off of usage, payments, and all of that, uh, not just the partnerships. So when you see us, me included, sometimes we get excited about new news that's coming out, but we see it over and over that nothing is really happening. I'm not saying that it won't happen. Like he said, I'm gonna back up my buddy right here. He said, it's still, still not time is coming, but not yet. We don't know exactly when it's gonna be because it's gonna take a mindset change of a lot of the holders. Like uh, it's a usage token. Like a lot of this stuff needs to be used. So when you see these videos of everybody talking about how the price is about to pump, or something just because of a new listing or whatever, you have to remember the obstacles that we have. Every single time that it starts to go up, people start dumping, selling off, and the price drops dramatically and goes all the way down to three, four cent. And we try to stay optimistic and say, oh, uh, you know what I'm saying? It, it's it's going to go back up and the price prediction is this and everything. Look at it, it's just full of price predictions, like we have some type of crystal ball but we have no control. AMP will pump 7,000. Why? These are all assumptions and I'm not downing any of my peers because I've actually made videos like this as well. But as you can tell, I start, I've stopped putting predictions in my title because how can we predict it when there's so many different uh, uh, variables in the equation? All right, is not just based off of their partnerships. It also has to do with the usage. All right, so if nobody is using the tokens, then it's not going to translate over here. It's not rocket science, guys. Everybody's like, when is it going to pump? You you look at the videos and people are just just love watching the prediction videos but guess what it's not going to pump if we keep selling it off <laughs> it's just not so i'm just going to just do that right there and let you know right now amp ain't going a damn place if people want to keep selling it off so when you see all these videos you know about it pumping is people you know it's a couple reasons they're doing it they're trying to keep up their adsense of course and uh, the other reason is because they're hopeful and they're trying to keep the buzz up for it because a lot of them have investments in it. So they don't want to lose their investments, let it die out, people stop buying it and all of that extra stuff. But it's just a drag on like the rapper. So <laughs> we have to make sure that we're doing more than just, you know what I'm saying, holding more than just selling, trading, swapping these cryptocurrencies. The point of cryptocurrency is to freaking take over the US dollar, the paper dollar or whatever and become the new currency of the world. But selling it off, treating it like the stock market and all of that extra stuff is going against that goal. So I just wanted to show some honesty to you guys and, and, and let you know that nobody knows when AMP token is going to pump. AMP might not go anywhere ever because it's everybody's fault. It's not one particular person's fault. It's not the creator's fault. It's not a pump and dump. It's not, it's not a, a rug pull. It's been past that part. It's not any of that extra stuff. It's all of our responsibilities. So with the shock phase right here, AMP prediction is not going to happen because we can't seem to get past 11 cents. Okay, we can't seem to get past that. It, you know, the prediction at the beginning of the year, everybody wanted it to be at a dollar, but we can't even get past six cents every time it comes up. Here we go, a dump, 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 dump. It goes down, down, baby, without the Nelly, man. All right, so this is not a rant or a complaint. I just wanted to explain, you know, why you shouldn't really listen to these titles and stuff. As you can see, a lot of minds started changing. It says, I swear amp holders will lose it all. You know what I'm saying? And this is not me being pessimistic. 
when I say stuff like I believe y'all gonna lose it all is because I'm talking about the advice you're taking from, you know, all of these predictions and people just, you know, trying to keep you happy and everything. But look, my job is not to keep you happy. My job is to help keep you safe. And like I said, I can't give investment advice. Matter of fact, I just did a video saying never take AMP investment advice. <laughs> all right, so I'm tearing down the walls, man. I like all these people, but I'm just being real with you. These people have families to feed, you know, mouths open like a, a, a like the, the baby birds in the nest when the mama come with the worm and stuff. They got kids. So they're gonna keep on going after what is trending, uh, working off your insecurities and your hopes and dreams and stuff and give you news. These are news channels. Just remember that. Nobody is a psychic. Nobody is Nostradamus of crypto. Nobody knows when these cryptos are actually going to pop off. So the best thing I would do, speaking in the third person, not giving you advice, what I would do is just to hold my dang on crypto, forget about it, invest in projects that I think make sense, that I believe in the future will go somewhere when people start actually using it and then still keep working my job if I have a job or building a business that I can control the income of. All right, so you guys are putting all your hopes and dreams on cryptocurrency when it can't work for you. Yes, a few people have gotten rich. Yes, yes, yes. But that's not going to be everybody's freaking story, especially not immediately. So most of us are playing, playing a long term game. So my, my advice, not crypto advice, would be to build some type of business, some other income stream that is active every single day and not dependent on if people start dumping off right here. That is what a smart person would do. If you're going to be an investor, I would invest into startup companies or companies that are already running that I could take a huge percentage of the profits of. That is smart because those are already moving. All right, so this is cross your fingers type investment. Cryptocurrency is cross your fingers type investment where you put your chump change at and hope that it grows for you. Just being real with you. Love you guys.